Hi everyone, it's me, Cheryl. If you are new to my channel, my name is Cheryl. I am with Yarn and Hook and also Bolts Bags. Um, I crochet and I make bags. Um, today, I'm just gonna yammer. I don't really have anything. Hopefully this won't slide down. It's been doing that lately. Oh wow, my ear's like ringing all of a sudden. It's weird. Um, I had a rough week, guys. A really, really rough week. First thing I did was wiped out my kitchen. Billy heard me. Billy was on the, the webcam thingy, and I went out in my kitchen for something, and she heard crash, bang, boom, 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 oh my god, ow, son of a boop, 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 and she's like, after I got in the room, well, Chucky came in, he was outside, and he's like, oh my god, I gotta go in, and she fell, holy crap, <laughs> it was more words than that, but uh, yeah, I fell, and uh, I whacked my head off the floor, and uh, I've been funky ever since, like, funky, just funky. Um, I had a rough week since then. I don't, I don't think I had a concussion, but I've been not well. Um, migraines, terrible, terrible migraines across my whole back here and in between my shoulder blades. I've been in agony, hurting really, really bad. I mean, pain. And, uh, mm, just not a good situation. So, I've been kind of MIA. Yesterday was the first I actually got back here and worked. This sun is terrible. Hold on, let me close these curtains. The sun is killing me. It's coming right in at me. So, yesterday was the first I actually got back here and did anything because I just, well, let's see, Saturday night... Saturday night, Saturday night, I laid down at like 5.30, and I told him I needed to take a nap. That nap ended at 7.30, 8 o'clock Sunday morning. I never moved. I never got up to go to the bathroom. I never did anything. I slept straight through. Um, I still don't feel right. I'm waking up every morning with a pounding migraine. It is not a pleasant situation at all. So I do have a, a video call with my doctor on Wednesday to see what's up. I don't feel right. I haven't felt right for a good while. I'm thinking my meds are all, not my meds, my vitamins might be a problem. I haven't been taking my vitamins right, honestly, since my mother passed away. Um... Not on purpose, and I haven't been eating right since my mom passed away. Um, things have been slacking since my mom passed away. Let me put it to you that way. And I guess somehow I got to get back on track. I, uh, it's not on purpose. It really isn't. It's just one of those things. So I guess I got to get my crap together in a roundabout way. So I got to talk to the doctor and I guess I got to, I have been canceling any doctor's appointment I have because I don't want to go in because of all this crap going around. I really don't want to catch it. And, uh, you know, a doctor facility is the last place you want to go into. I would think anyway. Go down, you booger. Don't be spilling either. So, while I have this here and I'm doing this, I want to give a shout out. These beasts are the best cups I ever bought. They come with two different straws, a brush, and this lid, like seals, it is the best. And it pushes shut. Best insulated cup I ever had. And it's the smaller, this thing. Uh, 30 ounce best cup I ever bought I'm on my second one love them 
and it's the heavier straw. Fast shipping, green steel beast. Love them. They're awesome. I think they're like 23 bucks. I love them. They're the best. Anyway, uh, I'm just not right since my mother passed away. And yes, I'm slacking. I won't lie. It's not that I don't care. I guess I just... I'm dropping the ball, you know? I was like... Advocate and preaching on the health and the this and the that. And yesterday I ate a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Eight months ago, Cheryl would have never even thought about touching a Pop-Tart. You know, I preach, don't eat that garbage. And if you do it and you gain weight, I don't want to hear it because blah, 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 blah. I'm going against everything I preached, everything I stood for, everything I believed in. And I deserve every consequence coming my direction because, you know, I'm a big girl and I'm a grown woman. And I'm old enough and mature enough to say I effed up and I deserve what happens when I eff up. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, it is what it is. My vitamins, on the other hand, I, uh, I don't know what the deal is there. I guess maybe I need different vitamins. I'm going to talk to my doctor about getting prescription vitamins, I guess. See what he can do there. It could be the B and the iron. I haven't had my levels checked since my revision, which was last October. So that should probably get done and uh, see where I'm at there. But yeah. Anyway, I've had a rough week. Hopefully it's going to start getting a little better. I'm pushing myself to do. Um, but this last week, I haven't accomplished much of anything except for stuff here and there for Katie and the kids. Um, I did not get the stuff I've been waiting for for my orders. It's taken forever. Hopefully this week brings something different. Um, I do have good news. I'm dressed for a reason. At 2 o'clock, Chucky and I are going to meet my supplier and friend, John. He is letting me take right off the truck. There's a load of vinyl and leather coming in, and I get to pick right off that truck. So I'm so psyched, 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 psyched. I'm so excited. So, yeah, uh... Hopefully, there's no interfacing, um, but maybe there's some hot pink vinyl or something that I can get back on Pat's order. And, um, or hot pink leather, I should say. It's not vinyl. Shelly brought this up, and I don't think it's an issue, but I'm just going to say it again. I know I say leather when I talk about this stuff. You all know it's not real leather. Anybody that knows me, let's start here, knows that there is no way on God's green earth I would ever, ever in a million years have real animal anything in my home. Oh my God. Let alone touch and work with real animal. Oh no, 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 no. I could never, I could never. Anybody that knows me has to know that. So nobody could possibly possibly think that anything is real leather Shelly said you're gonna have an issue with that I said I'll handle that I mean you know yeah my bags are more expensive but they're not real leather expensive I mean if I'm selling real leather handbags you're talking five six seven hundred dollars go look at the price of it just for a yard of Italian leather you're talking like just to buy the yard you're talking three hundred dollars for the yard of material that's not a made bag that's a yard of material so common sense has to kick in and if my bag is only priced at say 150 dollars that's not even the price of a yard of that material so i said to shelly i said i see her point i do but i just want to reiterate and i do put on my invoices faux leather faux and i did explain that if you look up pleather faux leather vinyl marine vinyl you're going to find all the same thing um, everybody calls it something different, but we all know at the price point, I mean, it's just common sense. You can't possibly think I'm, I'm selling real leather, anything. And anybody who follows my channel and knows me, 
No way. I'm, I'm a critter lover from way back. I hate snakes and won't kill one. I wouldn't have snake skin. There's no way. I don't believe in that. I think it's horrible. I can't even be a part of that. What am I cutting? I am cutting matching diaper covers for my 18 month old cousin's baby, Liam, and his soon to be baby brother, Frank. And do a matchy matchy. I have a bunch of stuff. I have all three blankets made for the kids. Part of me, itchy nose. And I have, oh, and they're cowboy fans. And uh, I got some stuff made. I'll show you the stuff I made already. These are done. They just need washed. Oh, and they need snaps on the bibs. I don't know if y'all ever seen these, but when I saw them, I went crazy. I made burpee cloths. Okay, so there's burpee cloth lined in. These are flannel. And then this one's a set. Camel frog. And look, these are called jewel jewel bandanas they go around the baby and look it's like a dana <laughs> oh my god i just love it and i said to her you know like she could roll it down like until the baby's bigger and you know have it smaller however whatever size she needs which is nice so i made her sets and then this is another camo froggy and here's the dana to match lined in brown and then i made her the puppy dog burper and then the puppy dog, Bibby, or, yeah, Bibby. And then I did the paw, pr or the that one with paw print, and the to match. And then there's this one. And they're not all sets because I didn't have enough. And then this camo frogger. <laughs> and this one. So I got to do with them is wash them and put the snaps on them. They're done. Okay. And then I made the boys. Well, first. Okay. So I kept telling Billy about Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga, Ooga Booga. And she's like, I don't know what Ooga Booga is. Well, if you weren't in the sewing communities way back in the day, which I was, you would know what Ooga Booga was. And it was like the in thing. It was like the knit for the kids. Oh my God. Everybody loved the Ogle Booga. And it was like 20, 30 bucks a yard. It was like hella expensive, right? So I decided I'm going to make the kids matchy matchy Ogle Boogas. So, um, Katie can take a picture of the kids in their Ogle Boogas that match. So what I did was, okay, here, let me show you. They all have I'll do it like this. They all have white shorts. Okay. So white shorts. And then I made for the boys. They have this. Ooga booga. And this for their neckline and their sleeves. Their tank tops. Okay. So let me show you the sizes of these kids. Okay. So Soph. And this is Soph's. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm doing it that side or the glitzy side. I'm not sure. Probably the glitzy because she's a little glitzy glitz. Okay. So this is Soph. She's in size seven, six, seven. Okay. This is Liam. He's 18 to 24 month. Okay. And then this is Frank. He'll be a newborn any day now. So I made, and then they'll all have white shorts and then the trim. So they're all going to be Ooga Booga. So mom can get pictures of the kids together in their Ooga Boogas. And then they'll all have, like I said, the matchy white shorts. So I think that's going to be sweet. And let me show you the difference in size in the, okay, this is baby. This is Liam. So look, baby, Liam. So, <laughs> huge difference. So, yeah, I'm going to do that with my serger, but I'm going to do that last when I get that out. So, 
Okay, so all that's cut and ready to go. I'm doing this all in between waiting on my stuff to come in. And then I made, I'm not going to show you both, the front and back. But these are two different pieces, fronts and backs. And then I made, I don't know, can you see the clouds through? Let's try and show you. I'm making rompers that match for the boys. See the clouds? Little clouds. Okay, so I'm doing, this is Liam's romper, and then they get like a knit, knit leg band and snaps at the top, okay? So this is Liam's romper, and this is the baby's romper. So I'm doing matching rompers for the babies, and they don't have them big enough, or I would have made Soph something. So I'm actually going to make Soph a dress. So, Soph's getting a dress, and I'm going to tie in that print somehow. So, that's what I'm doing. That's what you see me cutting. Right now, I'm working on diaper covers. And they're just going to be elastic. So, they're almost like underwear. They just kind of slip over because Liam's starting to go potty on his own. He still has accents. He's only um, 18 months old, which is good for a little boy, I guess. I never raised a baby. But they say that's really good, especially for a boy, to be go and potty on his own at 18 months old so yay for Liam so I figure if he has matchy big boy pants like his baby brother he'll wanna you know be a big boy and show his not that the baby's gonna go potty but you know what I mean Liam will want to be a, the big brother and, and you know want to do like big boy stuff let's see here's the aunt the leg bands that's the bigger one that's for the that's for Li uh, Liam's size that's not for the baby the baby's one must be over there but anyway so Chucky and I were cutting out patterns, patterns, patterns and I have them almost all done I just have to do the diaper covers and then I have to do those bands and then I can get sewing And the only other thing is we had the backpack half cut for Katie. She didn't want a diaper bag. She wanted a backpack. So I'll be able to show you that. And then if you guys want to order a backpack, she did not want a diaper bag. I'll be adding a backpack. Not my pattern. I bought it. Um, beautiful though. Absolutely beautiful. And backpacks are very popular. This is a big one. This is a tote pack. It's like a tote bag slash backpack. It's awesome. And I figured that would be big enough for Katie because she has a toddler, a six-year-old, seven-year-old, and a baby. So I wanted enough that she could carry all the kids' stuff in. So I got her a tote pack. And then I'm going to do it boy color so that um, Matt, Daddy, can carry it. Or Katie. So yeah. And I'm going to do tractor print for the boys. For diaper covers. I might do a romper out of this, too, I'm thinking. So at 2 o'clock, at 2 o'clock, we get to go and um, pick off the truck. I'm so excited. So I have a few customers, um, two Pats, by the way. Um, Pat, uh, let's see, not my Pat. Okay, how do I do this? I don't want to give out last names. Pat that just emailed me. My new Pat customer that just emailed me. I did get your email. I didn't get to reply, but I'm going to, I hope you see this message. I'm going to be going to um, my supplier and I'm going to be picking off the truck, as I said. Let me see what I get there, if it's anything we can encompass into your best friends. And then um, if let me see what I have there and then we'll work from there. And you and I'll figure out what we want to do for her bag and um to my darling pat there might be something in there i'm sure of it i'm sure of it because he said the most awesomest wackiest nicest the best you can bring me and what's going on is and this is perfect for me he used to sell 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 well now they're not buying because they're not businesses are not open and that's great for people like me because I, i'm buying because i'm selling so 
it's a win-win for me. I'm grateful beyond measure. So, yeah, this is a great opportunity for me. So, Wynn and I are going, and I'm, like, so happy I could cry. And John is good to us. John is so good to us. I can't even... I, I, I will sing the praises of John until the day I die. Jo my husband and I both think the world of that man. If there's anything ever on this earth we could do for him, it's done. Without question. He's a good man. He's in many, many ways. I, we think of him like we think of the vet's office. Seriously. Good man. Good heart. He'd do anything for anybody. Take his shirt off his back for a stranger. He's a good person. So, I'm blessed to have him for a friend. And not just because of this. Because knowing a person like that, if he did nothing for me, what I see him do for others, he's a good person. He truly is. And um, he's given Chucky and I, through the years, amazing deals with different businesses we tried to do. Um, you know, I, I, I've been in and out of business for the last, even when I was married to the ex, I did, um, pet business. I did my daughter and, and her cousin, they did dog treats. We had them in different stores while I did the sewing part of it. And I did pet tents and stuff and dog sweaters and dog, um, collars and leashes. They did the pet treats. I'm not new to business by no means. Um, and then I ventured out into, um, dolls and stuff. I did, oh, I did, well, back when I was in school, right out of school, my first full-time job, my mom and I, every paycheck, we went to AC Moore and I spent my entire paycheck because I didn't have to pay anything but my car insurance. Mom and pap didn't ask me to pay anything, even though I wanted to, they wouldn't do it. They refused. So every paycheck... Mom and I would go to AC Moore and I would buy eucalyptus and all that good stuff. And I made wreaths and stuff and took orders and swags. And I used to make that stuff and sell it all the time. Um, I used to make uh, dolls out of that, that paper twist. I used to make rabbits out of that paper twist. I am so no stranger to business. I've been in and out of business since I'm, I don't know, 17, 18 years old. And, um, I just never found that business that stuck, but I always come back to sewing bags, things like that. And this is really what I love, to be honest with you. Um, I've also had started Bolts Bags a couple years ago, but I never, I'll show you sometime. I'll, I'll dig it up on Facebook. I think it was 08, 09, somewhere in that proximity. And I do have a couple of the bags that I made. One of them is actually a project bag buried in my room back there because I added stuff to the room. Um, and I also did Bolt's Baby Boutique because I was making baby stuff out the Bazinga. I love making baby stuff. And, um, you know, I've done businesses throughout. I did my wholesale business for a couple years selling dolls and critters all over the country to wholesale shops. Ran a wholesale site on Facebook for a couple years where I brought the vendors and the the crafters and the the shops into the group to buy and sell. Um, you had to be a business. Either you had to have a physical shop or you had to actually be a crafter that sold wholesale or you weren't getting in. It was not just you wanted to buy stuff cheap. You had to have a store um, and a storefront not just as online willy-nilly fly by night it had to be a legit store because i didn't want our artists getting ripped off um did that for a while till i burned out that's when i decided to try bolts bags or bolts baby boutique and um i don't know i was just so depressed and at that time i was very overweight it just didn't work for me i took a couple years hiatus and then I picked up the crochet hook and with yarn and hook was born and I still love to crochet. And then here I am doing Volt's bags, which sewing was always my love. Always, always. Um, my first love has always been sewing. I love Project Runway. Always have. I can watch Project Runway over and over and over every one of the shows. 
even though I don't design and I'm not into fashion, this is about as fashion -y as I get. Um, I love to watch them design and do the runway shows and stuff. I find it absolutely amazing how they do it. I learned some stuff too from watching that. But, you know, I, I was born an entrepreneur. I was born a leader, not a follower. This is who I am. Even in my roles as jobs, I was always a supervisor or a manager. I was never good as an employee. I sucked being an employee. Had to be the boss. Had to be. I never was good as a, as a standard employee. I had to run the show or I was no good. And it's not that it, because I'm bossy. It's because I don't take, I don't take leader. I don't take order very well orders very well. I don't. And I don't think I'm better than anybody or I don't think I'm smarter than anybody. I just, I can think ahead. I can see what needs done before it needs done. I, I usually don't need direction. You could set me loose and I got it. I got, I'm, I'm usually 10 steps ahead of it. So I don't usually need direction unless I have no idea what I'm doing. Then all I need you to do is tell me how and let me go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is who I am. Don't know how I got there, but here we are. I don't even know what started that combo. But anyway, here we are. So, yeah, so I guess a little bit of insight about me. And now uh, we are working a deal with hopefully going to be carrying hardware to offer for other bag makers to either um, get wholesale to purchase for their own use, really, not to resale. And we're going to resale, you know, for people to buy. Um, that'll be in the near future. We're going to expand this business. Chucky's been designing bags. I'm so proud of him. He's a huge part of this business. This is definitely a husband and wife owned business. Very proud of Chucky and his endeavors. He helps me cut. He helps me design. He helps me create. He brings in his own creative eye. He helps me throw fabrics and uh, elements of bags together. He does a lot. This is definitely a husband and wife team. And even Billy puts her... her you know, her input in. So I'd say this is a family because Billy is our family. You know, she always says this is our little family and it is the three of us are a family. We're on that webcam and it's us. We're a family. So this is 100% a family run business and, um, we're very proud of it. And Billy is definitely a part of it. 100% all the way. So, with all that said and all that babbling and going on, I just wanted to say I am working. I am keeping track of everything. Hopefully, stuff will start flowing in. Um, I think, I think I can. I've been researching, Dawn. I think I can take a couple different ones and interface the way I want and maybe get that bag stabilized somehow to make it what I think I want to have it for your... Um, your bag, I have to work on that. We're waiting on a big mat to see, um, cause as you see, this is my room back here. This is what I have to work with. And right now I have fabric I have to put away, but that ironing board is what I have to work on, which makes life really difficult some days. So Chucky's trying to help me with that aspect too. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and stabilize it a little bit different to make it, and because I don't know when that doggone stabilizer is coming in, and I don't want to make you wait forever for that bag. And um, Jane, it looks like your hardware might be in this week too, hopefully. Fingers crossed, my dog. Fingers crossed. So hopefully this week things will get rocking. I know I said that last week, but... It skipped. Sorry, guys. You know that saying, the slow boat to China? Well, it's the slow boat from China. Ha <laughs> ha! Literally. 
the bag tags I ordered, they did not work out. It was a local shop. We did everything we could to make it work. It was um, not engraved, lasered in. It was lasered out, cut out. Oh, Lord. It was not what I wanted. So the original gentleman in China that I had talked to, he and I worked together. And um, it's going to take 16 days for production. And good Lord only knows how long to get here. So maybe June, July, I'll see those puppies. So in the meantime, it'll be my woven labels, which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. What am I going to do? But I'm excited about that because I got that rolling. Uh, but Chucky and I are working hard in the business every day. We're working to upgrade, improve, bring you the best of materials we can find, bring you um, more materials, bring you unique, different. We're working on some men's items. We are working on bringing wallets into the mix, uh, different styles of crossbody. Um, backpacks are coming. All kinds of different things. And I got Wayne working, but I think he's going to start designing a few things. He did design two other ones that I got to roll out. Um, as soon as I get done with these and the orders I have in between, I'm going to work on Wynn's designs. He's pretty excited about those. I would have got more accomplished, but like I said, this week's been rough. I have not felt well at all between whacking my head and being so tired. I don't know what. Billy swears I have sleep apnea. I think she's crazy. I love her, but I think she's nuts. Chucky says I stop breathing when I sleep. I think they're both loony because gastric bypass cures sleep apnea. I don't know how I could possibly have it. But only a doctor would know that, so I don't know, guys. I just don't know. And uh, they never thought I did have sleep apnea to start with, so I don't know. But that's for another day. Nobody's going to the doctor right now anyway. So anyway, enough of my rambling behind. I'm going to close that for now. Later on, Charles and I, if it's not tonight, tomorrow, he and I are going to show you all our rolls. I think we have nine rolls of leather, faux leather. One is a gorgeous crocodile. And I will tell you that all these are the higher end, like class personified. Oh, and look guys, I actually got my, I thought my second holes were closed. They're not. I got these gorgeous silver earrings, both pairs, sterling silver for 20 bucks. Oh, and, um, we're going to show you all our big rolls, like behind me here, that we didn't get to show yet because I was not feeling well. And then whatever we get today off the truck, we're going to show you what we got. So, um, those were the other options and I'll show you the new hardware we did get in. We got the rose gold and we got something else, but I'm still waiting Jane, yours is going to be rose gold, but I'm waiting on yours. Yours has to be one and a half inch. That's what I'm waiting on. It's the inch that I need to wait on for you. That's what the pattern called for, of course. And I don't have one and a half inch. I only have one inch because, you know, that that duffel I bought, it's one and a half inch. I have the right color. I just don't have the, and I did get your zippers. Um, I just don't have the hardware. It's the one and a half inch I have to have. And I don't have it. So that's the hold up there, sweetie. So, oh, lordy guys, I'm so sorry for all hold ups. And I know you guys understand. I just, I just feel bad. You know, it doesn't make me happy at all. But the only solace I have is you guys knowing that at the end of the day, it's worth the wait. You know, I know that because I put everything I have into my product. You know, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a, just a bag. I'm a brand and I make sure that you have the best that I can offer. And I put everything I have into it. It's not just willy nilly thrown together. And Dina, Dina, my love, your, your masks are coming. You also were put in the back burner. I should have messaged you, but I couldn't. Um, 
I was all functified. And I had to wait for your Bruins. I wait for stuff to air out before I bring it in. I got your... I got it. So I'm going to work on yours. I actually have your mask and Shelly's to do tonight. So they should be going out tomorrow. And I apologize if I held you up in any way, shape, or form. If I did, I'll overnight them on me. So you you let, you let comment and let me know. If I've nutsed you up in any way and you've needed these, I will overnight them. I don't care if it costs 50 bucks. Let me know, Dina, because that was my bad. All right? I love you, and I don't want to cause you any, any um, you know, those are important. So if I, if I caused you any... whatever the word you let me know and I'll, 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 I'll pay for the overnight. Okay, hon. All right. I think I covered everything. Pat, um, that messaged me for your friend. You and I will talk later when I come back. I will take pictures of what I found, what I was fortunate enough to get off the truck. Hopefully it is something that fits the bill. If not, We'll figure it out because there's so many things to choose from out there. And, um, yeah, I'm so excited. I absolutely love what I do. Um, I'm proud of my husband. He's really stepping up and designing. And he was actually chosen to go to art school. So was I back when we were in high school. We were both artists. Um, we both love art. We both love creating and um, I think this business is something that both of us are going to thrive at. In, 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 in a roundabout way, we both get to use our creativity and our artistry and come together and have an amazing business. And I think it's, it's great. It brings us together. It brings, it's just amazing. And it brings us joy, you know, it really does. And you guys, you guys are making all that possible. And we cannot thank you all enough. So with all that said, I am going to continue on my diaper cutting journey. I'm going to upload this video and I will see you all possibly tonight. My excitement might overflow, but I'm going to say more than likely tomorrow. Okay. I hope you all are staying safe. I hope you all are just washing, sanitizing following all precautions um you know we all know what to do and um stay safe everybody okay i love you all and um i'm working hard i am i did take a little hiatus with what happened this week again i apologize but there was nothing i could do anyway without my materials here so and right now i'm just working on buggy stuff with the baby coming. So, and I'll show you the Afghans and that that I finished. I didn't bring them in, but I'll show you them when I do my next video. I did um, three Afghans total. I did the drunken granny on all of them. Um, and I'll tell you what yarn I used on them. I did Sophs in Mandala Ombre Balance. And I did uh, the uh, Liam's in Red Heart Ombre Anthracite. So I did them all in the ombres, so they would kind of be matchy, but yeah, those are done. That's all I'm crocheting. The rest I'm sewing because sewing so much quicker, easier, you know, it's just easier. Okay. I'm really going now. I love you all. If you haven't already, please do take a minute and hit the little notification bell and subscribe. I think I do it that. I don't remember guys. I don't. I always get confuzzled, but I do think it's that way. Take a minute and hit the little bell and hit the all so you'll be notified each and every time I upload. If you like my content, please give me a thumbs up so I get in the algorithm, you know, and I get out there. And please do share me with your friends, family, and social media. I appreciate you all being here and taking your time and being with me today. And I appreciate all of you being part of my family, my channel, all your support, all your kind words, all your just everything. I love you all so much. You have no idea. And um, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Love and hugs. See you all soon.